so sick of the army guys always hitting on me all the time. They have no picture up and they think I'm the one. So I think they love blondes because they're all foreigners. Foreign men love blondes. So they say blondes have more fun. And of course I have fun. So many of them have no pictures and they pretend they're doctors on social media. So when they pretend they're doctors on social media, they think every woman wants a doctor. How many times I got asked out by a doctor in the past, all I did was date engineers left and right. Some engineers are very logical and I love it when someone's logical. All these army guys pretend they're working and they're not really working. They're just like, they're just pretending they're doctors and they're not because they think every woman wants a doctor on social media. Years ago, before really tuning in and meeting Josh, I asked this guy, please send me a clip of your voice. I want to hear your sexy foreign accent. The guy didn't even speak two words of English. I think he put someone else's picture picture. He was trying to fuck with me. So, on purpose, I thought I could fuck with him because he was trying to destroy me. Most think they could destroy me because they think they have the upper hand over me. What benefit is it to be with an army guy if he can't speak two words of English? What am I going to do? Teach him English? Because every time I ran into a foreign guy, I loved their accent years ago, but they annoyed me so much because I have to keep teaching them English. So then again, I'm a blonde and most foreign men in the army want a blonde. And I'm not interested in anyone from the army. Nothing against the army guys pretend they're doctors. Meanwhile, they're just in the army. Well, this one girl on social media thought she could be friends with me. Wait a minute. Then she kept asking me, how's your family and this and that and everything. And I thought, wow, this is weird. I was trying to pick up some chicken debone and she kept messaging me on social media. And I thought, who's this girl? I don't know why she's messaging me back and forth. I think her name was Sarah. And when she kept messaging me back and forth and I kept thinking, wait, her name sounds familiar. But then again, her last name was Smith. That's when I got suspicious. We all know Smith is a fake last name. So when she kept messaging me, how's your family and everything else? I was on a date with Josh. Josh was waiting in the car while I was trying to pick up chicken de bone from this Mediterranean restaurant. And I kept thinking, this is weird. It was weird. All these army people tried to get a hold of me. That was ridiculous. So I blocked her ass. I didn't really tell her that. I was like, I didn't want to be annoyed by the messages back and forth, back and forth. I hate messaging someone back and forth. So Josh and I picked up chicken de bone. It was so good. But they fucked up our order. They didn't do it right. Josh figured it out because he has a very good nose. He has a very good nose and ears. He like he kept track of exactly what was in the chicken de bone. And then he started complaining. I thought I could call the restaurant and that foreign guy said, Go ahead, you could come back and pick up this food anytime you want. I was like, oh shit, before it gets too late, make the chicken de bone right. So I'm so glad Josh figured it out. But that guy had a heavy duty accent. So I hope he's gonna remember my name because I told him it's Cindy. I just have to go and pick it up again. Josh started acting like a chicken after picking up chicken de bone. Huh. He's not really a chicken, but at times Josh makes that chicken sound and he goes, ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. I think he had so much chicken he starts acting nuts. And now he's probably sleeping. He's in the bedroom, so he's not going to get laid. I'm so glad he's in the bedroom because he's not listening to me. At least during halftime, I get some action. The best lovers are Italian because they make sure a girl comes first. Good thing I didn't have to go to Italy to find that out. Well, writer, I couldn't stop thinking. And then Josh sits there with that blank fucking head. He just watches the sports. Just because Josh does look like he has a blank head doesn't mean he doesn't know how to do it well. The ones that actually look stupid are very smart. And he is smart. Actually, I was really intrigued that he said to me earlier that you're really wise. So I said, look, I have the brains and you have the looks. So we could cash in somehow. He was really intrigued because he wants to start a website in regarding sports. I kept thinking, there are lots of people like that. They start off nice and they become really rude. And that's how Natasha was. But then again, over the years, Natasha had a baby 
And then she thought I introduced her to her main man that knocked her up. She's a typical B-I-T-C-H. She kept wham-mamming like crazy. Then she thought she had no chance to have a kid. And then when she had a kid, she said, Wow, thank you, Cindy, for introducing me to my main man. That guy had like a gap like Madonna in the middle of his tooth. I kind of got annoyed. Then she said, I was so intrigued by him. He reminded me of my father. She started banging him like there's no tomorrow. I was intrigued by his gap like his center tooth hair was missing.